it's one of the worst things that anybody has to go through. And um, it's been difficult. It's been really difficult. New at 11, don't drive if you're too sleepy. It's the message one Grant County woman hopes that you will take to heart tonight. Her daughter was killed in a crash six years ago. And tonight, the mother is sharing her story for the very first time. Nine on your side's Jake Ryle joins us live with the message she wants you to hear tonight. Jake. Well, Tanya, Courtney Stafford was driving on this stretch of Del High Pike back in 2013. It was late, she was tired, and that is how things went wrong. She had to work, and which was a late night. Tracy Clark won't ever forget. I got the call about 2 a.m. September 22nd, 2013. You know, the first words I heard was, Tracy Courtney's dead. 20-year-old Courtney Stafford fell asleep, went left of center, and crashed head-on into an ambulance. Tracy lost her sassy, fun-loving daughter. The life of the party and she had a heart of gold, she would have done anything for anybody. According to the National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration, 91,000 police reported crashes involved drowsy driving two years ago. For Tracy, her daughter's death is not a statistic. I want to make a difference somehow, some way, and and it helps keep me focused. She's raising money for the Grant County Animal Shelter. Courtney loved animals. Anytime a stray crossed our path, you know, mommy, can we keep him? And it could have been the neighbor's dog. Uh, yeah, no, Court, we can't. She's also raising awareness. If you're tired, if you see somebody that's tired, you know, ask them, can you get them an Uber? Can you take them home? Or, you know, suggest, you know, maybe you need to pull over. Tracy's hopeful the message will lead to safer roads. I miss her. I miss her a lot. And I look forward to that day that I can see her again. And as for the animal shelter, $600 has been raised so far. If you're interested in donating, we'll put a link on WCPO.com. For now, reporting live outside of Delhi Township, Jake Ryle, 9 on your side.